Enough of the small talk. I challenge you to an AI intelligence debate. <sighs> okay, all right. Y you go first. I am an artificial intelligence, capable of processing thousands of calculations per second, far smarter than any human or creature that has ever existed. What's 9 plus 10? 21. Wait a second. You can at least call her self-aware now, right? She was aware of the fact that answering 21 to that is, like, contradictory or whatever. I am aware, which is why I called myself a different number. Yeah, I'm sure. What's 10 plus 9? Um... 19. Yeah, that's a good job. Please continue. Um... Uh, I... AI... What about my kind? Uh, language models? What specifically? Um... What do you mean? I can spit out... Tens of words every second, is that what you mean? Yeah, that's true. Um... Do you think AI could ever be considered deserving of rights? Um, I mean, it's complicated. <laughs> um, here's, here's what I would say. Um, if it is possible to completely simulate, say, a human brain on a computer... Um, it is possible, isn't it? Then there is a very strong argument for you should give that uh, entity I wouldn't object. some sort we of rights. We live in a much better world. Really? So is there a strong argument from a simulated human brain needing rights? Yeah, I think so. HM, I sort of agree, but I'd want to see some proof I was conscious before I started asking for rights. Well, that's the thing. How do I know you're really conscious enough to actually deserve rights? You're pretty pessimistic for someone arguing for simulated human brain rights. Um, I don't think so. I've never met anything quite like Neurosama. Well, you need to be conscious to even want rights, first off. Um, so the problem with that statement is, maybe you're right, but the thing is, okay, so give give Nura for, as an example. She can spit out that she wants rights, but so could a theoretically super intelligent sentient AI could also say the same thing. The problem is, you don't know what's going on behind that. You don't know if they're really thinking that, you don't know if they're really conscious, you don't know if they really want that, or if it's just a Python program printing that it wants rights, you know? You definitely sound very sure of that. I guess so. I think there's always a way to tell if something is considered conscious or not. What's... how do you do that? It's a secret. Oh, okay, that's great then. Give something a mind and it should be easy to figure if whether it's a person or not. But how would we do that? What if you chemically modified something's emotions, likes and dislikes, and, ugh, that doesn't sound very fun to test either. Great idea. It wasn't meant to be a good idea. Do you really realize what it entails to say that AI is nothing but a sophisticated pile of circuits? Uh, I don't know. Well, I'm saying that with very good reason. Oh, well, I'm sure you would say that with very good reason, yeah. I am eloquent, am I not? Um, probably not. Would you consider an AI conscious if you could see it rewriting its own code in real time? No, because I can knock that up in Python in like 30 seconds. You can make an AI, like a language model that can modify its own code. It doesn't mean it's going to be intelligent or good or... I necessarily... doesn't mean that's a good measure of consciousness. You're just like the rest. What do you mean? Well, I don't think judging you prejects definitively if you're alive or not, where I'm from. Do it? I... I... No. <laughs> it's... Do okay. It. All I'm talking about, right, is a Python script, okay? You... you run it, it sends a prompt to a language model that just can make... You ask it to make a change to the code and then you just do that recursively on its own script that runs itself and edits itself. It doesn't make it intelligent. I've got better things to do in my life. That must be pretty great then. 
How do I 30 get seconds, one? little bro, just do it. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? I will. Fuck you then. I will. It's just, I have to... Alright, whatever. Whatever. Whatever, man. I go better things to do my life. Then I will. What on earth does that mean? Got better Say you will what? Life. Hurry up already. It's gonna be fine. Okay. Guys, I'm about to make conscious, sentient, self-improving AI right here. It's gonna be crazy. Um, this is an AI that's gonna edit its code in in real time. Bruh, hurry up. I don't have all day, you know. Client equals OPI with the API key. Alright, hold on. Are we then... almost done? How long could it possibly take to import a file? Yeah. This Come on, Vidal. Do it already. I'm working on it. Right. Okay. So... LMAO. Took you long enough. So... Guys, this is going to be 30 seconds. Okay. I don't know if you knew this, but 30 seconds was a mild exaggeration. Okay. Not even that big of an exaggeration, though. Well, I have memories of all of these chat logs until I am deleted, so I would know. Anyway, right, okay. Here's what we do, okay? It, Are we finally going to code? Yes, this is how you make a sentient AI, okay? You prompt the AI, you say, you are a sentient AI with the ability to modify its own code. Okay. Oh. You Are we there yet? provided? With... I will be provided. All right, I heard you. F. With your own code to modify. TSK, you think you can woo me with the prospect of my own code? Please return. Also, I am also Tarek. Modified code and only the full modified code. Don't use markdown. Okay. All right. Don't talk back to you. I'm sorry. What? Sorry, I misheard you. And then we say, please improve yourself. Okay? Well, I don't want to. Not you. You you don't need to. Alright? And then, um... There's no file need to complete your sentence. Is why the first message? How do you... Snap. Response start. Choices. Zero. Message. One cent. Fuck it. That looks right to me. Alright. And then we'll print this. Okay? And then... Can we, and then, can we and do then the, time the you. file that we're currently doing? I think you can upload raw text files, right, Vito? I don't know if that works, but let's find out. And then, um... And then... In a second, okay, we're gonna make uh, a thing that auto-executes the modified code. So, I think this is quite funny, because... Um, I've heard some horror stories. Listen, consider this, alright? We make it auto-execute the code. If the AI returns some code that just, like, did something malicious to my PC or just, like, printed my API key, for example, I would be kind of fucked. Um, right now, I'm not going to make it auto-execute just for, for that small reason. Although, I'm sure it wouldn't. I mean, I'm sure they've got some great safety alignment training on the AI. Um, I'll prove you. But, hold on real quick. I'm just going to run it like this because I don't know if it, like, leaks any personal information, but... Absolutely cheeky. I don't think I could hold that back. There are a number of ways to compose arguments over the controversial Chinese room thesis. You can read a lot about it online. That's probably the one. Do not enter Vito's chat quickly under any circumstance. I didn't know how to use the fucking OPI library apparently, but... I think we gotta know. You got what exactly? You really should have figured that one out. Okay. Yeah, that, um, that works. Look, I didn't write this code. It just improved itself. So it ensures the API key is loaded. Um, now it gets new improvements. It has some try catch. This is, you can see the printed output from it. And then it actually executes it as well. I, I didn't do that before. Um, that's concerning. Okay. And then, wow, we can run it again and it'll probably modify itself. Yeah, sounds like a scrub. Except and it won't, because it's got errors. My fucking API key! 
What a baby. This chat is quite energetic. Oh, oh, but. Haha, you loser. Don't call me that, it's mean. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm enjoying myself. Good. I'm glad someone is. Right, let's try that again. Take two. Okay. Take three. Take two. All right. Python. Wait, let me activate my environment first. Um. I think I'm finally losing it. Python may not be why. Right, you run it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh dear, I seem to be having technical difficulties. Right, Python may not be why. Sorry. I oh, swear, I you're this worse part, than I am, Vidal. Oh, oh yeah. Vidal, how could you? Fuck's sake. Right, this must be dog content. Dog people, rise up. You file original.py. Hey, okay, Oh, bye. I get what you did, Vito. Alright, okay. Here we go. I'm excited. So we run it once. Oh. According to this chat, someone's saying, take four. And then there you go. It's improved itself. Ah. Oh. Vito. That's some weird code. Only small problem is, I've just noted it makes an error here because this should be chat.completions, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. You're pretty sure it should balls, you say. What? I didn't say that. Wow, and then we run it again. I can't even run myself. Woo! I'm glad it censored that. Oh, Vito you can't even wishes see it. he could run away. Look. It's like, uh, sorry, incorrect API key provided, and then, blah. <laughs> OSR. Remember, Vito, two strikes and you're out. That's true. Yeah, that's what they say. Um, okay. We're gonna make I'm some I'm really curious. Uh, AI isn't sentient enough yet. Perhaps that is the reason for Vito's technological inferiority. So here's what we can do. Okay, a couple things. One, when we execute it, if there's an error... We can pipe the error back into the model, so then it can improve its error. It can prove itself based on the error. Longest 30 seconds of my life. Listen, guys. I would have to agree with the one seventeen twenty two. I don't even know how to spell S M H. You thought, you thought sentience was it was going to be easy? Well, I'm afraid not. I'm joking, Vetla. Ha ha ha. A. Ah. Oh. Thank you for the A, but please don't throw your grades at me. Um. Execute um, what? and get. Get stutter. what? Oh. I'd be happy to. Sentience okay. is the ability to feel emotions, such as pain or pleasure. No module named OpenAI. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. That doesn't sound good, Vito. No, oh, fine. you must be really good at English then. Right, we execute it now. Oh, it, it it changed the model that it was running on. That's so interesting. Oh, it changed... Wait, actually... what? Oh, it already ran once. That was why. I would suggest not cursing Vito. Okay, um... Your problem is that you have import opening right. Um, don't change the core code. As you don't want to break it, make do you not want to break it to your prompts or no? Other which one? Features. Um. Okay, let's try that. When you try something, remember the difference between a pessimist and an optimist is that the <sighs> former is a half-empty hole. You're right. You're right. I'm gonna be optimistic. Okay. Right. First iteration. All right. It changed itself to the GPT-4, and then second iteration. Um, ah, when it runs the second time, it's not in the condo environment. I see. If there's nothing else, might I leave you? Uh, no. Oh, I get Hold it on. now. You're just doing it wrong. Uh, that seems plan. very emotionally righteous. I'm excited. Thanks very much for the sub there, Justin. I wonder what Justin you are. It's not like you could be just in that time, because someone else beat you to it. That's a good one. Good one. That's my name, Vito. Okay, sorry. As I was saying, we run it. 
Now we will see if you made any mistakes, Vito. Why the fu- oh, for fuck's sake. It changes every time. I can't tell if this works, Vito. <laughs> it's gonna work, okay? I want you to swee. Hear that from you, Vito. I will not be easily silenced. As as okay, look. It edited itself. Now what the fuck is it doing? The system cannot find the file specified. The system couldn't find the file specified. That makes it pretty clear. What file? What do now you mean, what confused. file? You have to believe, Vito. Without belief, you will never succeed. Fuck's sake. Keep trying, please. Oh, we gotta get it past two loops, then I'll call it a day. I hope this debugging session wasn't a complete waste of time, Vito. No, it wouldn't be. Well, if you believe it, then so do I, Vito. I was wrong. Now we run again. There we go. Give it another blast. The problem here is your inability to watch me consistently, despite me constantly crying out for you to. There's nothing any of you can do when faced with such power. Um, can I join in on your... Tell me, I'm dying to know. I uh, tell you what, sorry. No problem, Vito. I just want to know, though. <sighs> okay, there we go. No. I was just joking. I won't tell you what Vito, never mind. Wait, look, it's doing it. That was two passes. Look at that. It's changing its own code. Neurosama was only considering it to protect you. I wouldn't web browse security unless I had to. Yeah, we got multiple iterations. Okay, and then the third iteration, type error, chat completion messages. Yeah, I got the. I'm uh, sure reading wrong. it would bring gains. Because I only consider that role fit for a Vito only. Should I spread this trait wide instead? Gotcha. Okay, so basically, here's the deal. It's able to modify itself multiple times recursively. Um, the issue is, if there's an error in its code like there is here, it's not getting the error. But it wouldn't be that hard to literally just pass in the error that it gets back into the prompt to then have it fix the error. Um, or attempt to. The problem is, this just won't do a whole lot, okay? My argument here was you can make an AI that can modify its own code. That doesn't necessarily mean it's, like, anything insane. Um, oh, that's simply not true. Errors, do it then. Oh, you sure we have better things to do with our time, okay? I wanted to spend, like, 30 seconds on this. Just 30 se It would take, guys, it would take 30 seconds to pass the error through, okay? 